All right, so <clears throat> I posted a video yesterday hinting on a couple things. Um, just wanted to talk about those things today. I have a little bit of time. Uh, again, this is not my normal setup. Maybe it's better, maybe it's not. I've got multiple computers going right now. Um, so that does make it a little bit easier rather than trying to remember everything and remember all the stats and remember all the players, you know, height and weight and 40 time and all that stuff that I usually do uh, when I'm in the truck. Usually I try to write stuff down, uh, but most of it I'm just trying to memorize. Makes it a little bit easier having the computer right here in front of me. So a couple things I wanted to talk about that I mentioned uh, in yesterday's video was the Georgia 2021 uh, recent commits. I know I had touched on a couple of them, uh, obviously, we know about Vandegrift and Daniel. Uh, and the last one that I did was uh, big defensive end Jonathan Jefferson. But we've gotten three more recruits since my last video about a commitment. Uh, those three are offensive tackle Michael Morris, uh, running back Love C. Carroll, and another defensive end, Elijah Judy. So... Michael Morris, uh, one of the top offensive tackles in the country, number 11, big dude. He's like 6'4", 320. Um, he is going to be a solid tackle for UGA for a few years. Um, Love C. Carroll, good running back. He is, uh, you know, he's a stud. He's the number eight running back in the class. Um, he's not huge, but he's not small. He's uh, about 6'1", 190. Um, hopefully he puts on a little bit more weight. I know that that's kind of been the issue with James Cook and why he's never been able to be a uh, feature back is because he's had trouble uh, getting his weight up and, and really to be a successful three down back in the SEC, you have to be, you know, somewhere in that 210, 215, all the way up to, you know, 230, 235 range. Um, so 190, definitely going to have to put some weight up. Uh, if he wants to be a feature back at the University of Georgia, but he's a good one. He's at IMG Academy. Um, they don't let scrubs play there, so he will be very good. Uh, Elijah Judy, uh, big defensive end, 6'3", 250. Uh, we're pulling these recruits out of uh, Philly, which is, which is good for us. We're kind of creating that pipeline. I know Swift was from there. Uh, we've gotten a couple others, so uh, glad to see that pipeline starting to form. Uh, because they do have some talented kids up there in Philly. So essentially that's it for right now. Uh, we're going to have quite a few coming down the line here. Um, everybody's kind of waiting on Amarius Mims, uh, number one offensive tackle in the country, very heavily favored to UGA. Um, every single crystal ball out there has him to UGA. He's kind of been, I feel like he's kind of been trolling a little bit, um, lately, he really hasn't posted anything Georgia related since March. Uh, he has been very, um, very favored towards Tennessee for the last couple weeks. Uh, there is some concern there just because of Cody Brown, uh, committing to Tennessee because Mims and Brown have hinted in the past on several occasions, uh, that they may be a package deal. Now, that doesn't mean that they definitely are. doesn't mean that they're going to the same school. We don't know. Uh, Cody Brown could decommit. As I mentioned yesterday, Tennessee, um, they have a great recruiting class right now as far as quantity. They are getting a recruit seemingly every 30 minutes. Um, the momentum is definitely on their side. They've gotten a couple big recruits because of the mo uh, momentum. So right now, it's May 12th, and Tennessee is sitting on 21 commits for the 2021 class. Um, that is, that, I mean, it's absurd. It's the most commits in the country uh, by far. 
I believe the uh, next closest is Ohio State with 18 or 19. Let me look here. Yeah, the next closest is Ohio State with 17 commits. Um, but the biggest thing to look at here with Tennessee is their average. So Tennessee's recruit average right now is a 80... Uh, 0 0.8970, so an 89. Well, what was their recruiting average last year? 0 0.8992. So, yes, they have a lot of recruits. They're the number two class in the country right now, but their average rating is lower than it was last year. If we go back even further, I, I honestly don't remember uh, 2019 class. I would have to assume 89 has got to be, but no. 2019 class, Tennessee was a .904. So get hyped up about Tennessee all you want. Their, their average rating right now is lower than it has been over the last two years. They are just finishing their class in May. Again, they have four running backs. Um, I, I don't see all those running backs staying. Maybe they do. Who knows? Uh, but it, it, it is interesting. I think Tennessee will probably finish with a top 10 class. Um, again, just based on quantity. They have 21 commits right now. They have, what, four or five spots left. Um, maybe maybe they get some big guys in those, you know, four or five spots. Maybe they get uh, another five-star. Um, maybe they, you know, maybe they steal... Uh, Mims, maybe they steal Mondin from UGA. Uh, there's a couple different, you know, a couple different guys out there that they could get to obviously boost that average um, and improve their class. So we'll see what happens with, uh, with Tennessee's class, but Tennessee fans, at least the smart ones, are not getting ahead of themselves because they know that that average rating is more important than anything else. The average rating tells you the quality of the recruits that you are getting. Just because you're ranked number two in the nation right now doesn't mean anything. It just means that you have more commits than anybody else. You're not getting better commits. Georgia's average right now is like a 95. Ohio State's is like a 95. Alabama's 95. LSU, 95. So until you start getting into that elite level um, where your average rating is in the mid-90s, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens with the 2021 class. But I am very excited uh, for Georgia's 2021 class. I think you're going to get uh, a commit or two in the next three, four weeks. Uh, Mondin kind of posted a cryptic message yesterday. He put six blank 20 for his commitment date. But then down below... Uh, he had smile for smiles for smile. His, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, so I took that as the four being placed up there in the six four twenty. Uh, so if that's the case, he'll be committing in the next three weeks. Um, and once you see one or two players commit to UGA, it's just going to be a domino effect, just like it has been for Tennessee. Um, and we'll get a bunch of guys, you know, going this summer. So a lot of interesting stuff going right now. That's all I have, uh, for today. I appreciate you watching. You guys stay safe out there and, uh, hopefully we'll see you again real soon. Take care.